Hi and welcome to this tutorial. It's important to involve the uh, social media in your website. That's why in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add this Twitter widget plus module to your website. What I'm going to do, I'm going to visit this admin panel of Joomla, like any Joomla 3 website looks like. I'm going to click on the extensions extension manager here. Like you can see, I've already downloaded the model here. And then I click Upload Package File. This is, this, this is actually how you install any template, any model, any component. You can go to this page here. You click on Choose File. And now it says Bestand Kiezen. That's Dutch. Because I'm a Dutch person, it shows Dutch language for some reason. Now I click Choose File. And I want to go to Downloads, and I want to go to find this mod Twitter widget search stuff. And here we got the model, mod Twitter widget plus. I come to click Open. I click Upload and Install. And now the model is installed. If I want to find the model, I have to go to Extensions, Extens Model Manager here. Now we're going to see this is the Twitter widget plus that I just installed. And like you can see it now unpublished. It's now currently on the Twitter name Barack Obama, but you can use your own Twitter widget ID and your Twitter name. It's just an example, but you so you can Go on your Twitter name and Twitter widget ID for your own Twitter page. Well, I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to select position. Let's see. I'm going to put it on the right side. And then I have to go to the uh, menu assignment here. Only on the page it's selected. I'm going to try it first. So just none for now. And then I'm going to check on the cherry. Just to test the page. And I'm going to close the module here. Click published. And now we go to see that you can change the link colors, you can change the color scheme to dark and you can actually change the background color here and you can change the height of the okay well I'm going to click on save now Then I'm going to click Clean Cage. And now what I'm going to do is to go to Ancestra. And I'm going to see if I can see what I've just installed. So I'm going to meet us. Meet Terry. And actually the tweets are showing up. The good part is that you can actually click on the follow of the Twitter page. You can see the actual last page, last tweets here, and you can click here and you can tweet to the actually actual version. You can do that. You can tweet to yourself, or you can tweet, or some someone else can also tweet to you. Well, I d I don't really like the, the title here, so I'm going to just change the title. Uh, I'm going to hide it, I click save, and make it disappear. There we go, that's better. I also don't want the Barack Obama thing to show up, but I really need a name and a witch name for it to change. I'm going to see here, I got a height or of 
one is 50 picks. I could also choose to give over 300 picks. Let's see what that does. Save. Then I'm going to refresh the page. I think this thing will go larger. Let's see. Yes, it will go larger. So you can actually change the size of it a bit so that you can see more tweets. You have somewhat normal smaller, smaller tweets without photos. Like this, you can actually have two or three tweets on the page. It can also contain uh, images and links, just like any Twitter thing. But we don't want the back and mounting up on the page, so I have to check on uh, Terry's Twitter page if I can find that. Twi Let's see uh, your Twitter widget ID. Twitter widget ID. What's Twitter widget ID? Well, we're going to Google Twitter widget ID. Twitter widget ID. How do you get your Twitter widget ID? Okay. I'm going to try that. I want to know the autocad using the configurator. So I have to go to this Twitter settings widget thing. And I have to make a new Twitter widget. This is my let's see. Widgets Reckoning on Meg Neil Then you have to click the code Let's see Let's see what's in the go then. We're going to go for the cloud block or the notepad. Let's see what's in the code. There we got the widget ID. For mine. So I'm going to see if I can make it change. Let's change this to black or white. Actually, I'm, I'm just trying uh, see if I can change it. I click save. And then I'm going to refresh this page. And now it shows my Twitter on, on Homes Arizona. So actually it does work. Oh, we could also choose to make this more like the yellow color of this, of this uh, website. So let's see. We have this background color here. Let's choose more that yellow like background. This is not really what I'm looking for yet. But if I if I were to have the real color code, which I will search for later on. And then uh, I could actually make it look more like the website. I click save. And then I go to just refresh the page. It's not not there yet, but uh, I could actually make it more like the website color. Let's try it again. 
I like the yellow like more like this color I think click shape and then I'm going to refresh the page oh, once I found the right color I can actually use it like this or choose a color more like the website or more lighter make it lighter then you have a Twitter page on your website of your latest tweets which is really what social media should be like but the good part is that you can create several widgets and if you have a Midas you can use one with Bing too and the tweets from Bing would show on this mid link slide so for several several people that are working on the website you could actually add their Twitter page on their on their profile it really looks good I'm now going to make it disappear again because it's now my website showing on this website I click unpublished and I click save and close but we can also use this later on now I want to look for the color of the website the background color I can look at the extension template manager and I'm going to look for the color so this is the Kia smart default website I'm going to see if I can find uh, anything here about the background color I actually think I have to go to the CSS so I have to go to let's see extensions template manager I go to GeoSmart select templates there we go GeoSmart details and files and now we're going to look for a file called CSS for example and we got the layout here and then let's hope that it has some background hello ho hello, ho select filtered content how about the template CSS here background I'm going to just try these two things here body component so I'm just saving stuff and I hope that I got the right the right um, background color information because I'm now searching very quickly and if I would search more or take in more time for it I'd probably get it more uh, easily extensions the model manager now I'm going to look for the Twitter thing I've just created there we got the Twitter which is plus and now I'm going to look if this thing is the color the background color is actually what I'm looking for I really don't know that so I'm going to try Not really taking it to not really working. Okay, I missed the letter. So hopefully this will work. Oh that's too dark, so that's not it. Maybe this is the color. Also too dark. How about the EEE -E -E color then? Okay, 
Well, that's not it either. Well, I guess I have to search for the guy at color then. Let's try some colors myself. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you will be back to my channel soon.